Okay, so uh, I just thought I'd play that video um, just while people were joining. Uh, looks like we've got 50 people on the call. Um, so just wanted to make sure that we have everybody in. Um, like I was saying, uh, very sorry, my earpods weren't working at the beginning. Um, and um, I just got told that that um, audio track had a bit of fluttering. Um, I can't hear that on my end. So I'm sorry if that um, didn't come across as a full range track. Uh, my name is Chris Tobias. Um, I'm the sales manager for Maya Sound. Um, today, um, I'm here to talk to you about our Ultra X40 and Ultra X20. Um, please feel free to chat me at any time. Um, so we are using the Zoom platform. You can see uh, you can turn on your cameras and you can turn on uh, your microphones. Um, I think I've just set the microphones to mute and I've also set the, the chime when people arrive to mute as well. So. Um, I can unmute the mics at any time if you would like to uh, chat or um, turn on your camera. You can also um, chat privately. So uh, I'm sure you guys have all used Zoom before. Um, and okay, let's go. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is our MySound community. MySound has a Facebook community. Um, we, us, we stream all of our webinars live on Facebook uh, and we actually have over 8,000 members. So uh, I do ask you all at the end of this to please go and search My Sound User Community and like our Facebook page so that we can keep you updated. And it's a great way. We have a lot of our tech support guys monitoring that Facebook page so you can post questions there. And it's a really useful community. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, some of the My Sound Precision Toolset. Um, and the Precision Toolset are tools, uh, building blocks that My Sound has created for you, the user, to make your life easier but also um, help integrate all of our products together. The things that we're going to talk about, uh, Zoom, obviously, uh, we're going to talk about um, basic safety guidelines because in this presentation, I will be showing rigging. And of course, we always wanna be very safe when we talk about rigging. Um, we're gonna look at the Trix 40, the X20. We're gonna look at um, some designs in our map uh, prediction software. We're going to look at the 750 LFC subwoofer and the 900 LFC subwoofer. And then I thought that I would show you some custom color products and also show you some of the weather protection uh, products that we make. So the first thing we have to do uh, is I just need to let you know that all my sound products and, and um, accessories must be used in accordance with state, federal and industry regulations. Um, it is the owner or user's responsi responsibility to evaluate um, the, the reliability of the rigging and make sure that the rigging is um, right for the job that you're doing. Uh, rigging sh should be carried out by an experienced professional. Uh, rigging should always be inspected um, and it should always be used um, properly. And we always suggest that you use safety chains or safety wires. Now that the uh, official part's over, let's get in and have a look at the Ultra X40. So the Ultra X40 is the, uh, is the replacement for My Sounds UPA 1P. My Sounds UPA 1P was one of the biggest selling products My Sounds ever made. It has been in the industry a very long time um, and a lot of people know it. But like all good things have to come to an end, we had to find something that was um, could deliver the same um, expectation as a UPA 1P, but My Sound wanted something to do better, to be better. Overall, we wanted the rigging to be better. We wanted tonally, we wanted the Ultra X40 to be better. And you can see here, one of the main things, the main pieces of feedback we got was weight, that our customers wanted our point source boxes to be lighter. So what we did is you can see that we've actually reduced the weight by almost 10 kilos, um, which, is, which is huge in a, in, a, in a point source box. But we've been able to increase the um, SBL by almost 2 dB. The Ultra X40 comes in two options. So the Ultra X40 is 110 by 50, um, and you can get it as a 70 by 50. And they're actually rotatable horns. So you can then change that dispersion pattern. So if you're putting the um, loudspeaker in the ceiling, you can actually rotate the horn to whatever um, uh, coverage pattern that you like. The Ultra X40 has a three inch um, diaphragm, high frequency driver. It has two uh, low distortion cone drivers and it has a three channel um, digital D-class amplifier with built-in DSP. So it is a powered box uh, and there is DSP built in, which means that you don't need a processor. 
So it was um, something that a lot of people think is that you need my sound galaxy processors. Well, for our point source series and for the um, subwoofers that I'm going to talk to you about today, these are plug and play. So you can get them straight out of the box, plug them into your console and you have done all the hard work for you. Uh, as I said, we have concentric drivers. Um, we have rotatable horns. So it's as simple as removing four screws, rotating the horn um, to get the right uh, dispersion pattern. And you can see that we've labeled the horn very clearly to show you which way the horn is um, rotated. We spent a lot of time uh, researching rigging and talking to customers about rigging. We have 11 M8 rigging um, uh, points. We also have a 35 mil um, pole receptacle. And inside the pole receptacle is actually a 20 mil uh, thread. And we'll show you why that that's there um, as well. And it also gives you stability when you put it on a pole, but it also gives us flexibility with some of our rigging options. So the first rigging option we're gonna look at is a U bracket. Everybody's used to a U bracket before. So uh, my sounds U brackets um, are very nice and uh, fitted and you can obviously mount the speaker uh, horizontally or vertically. We uh, also have um, produced a thread, um, a thread user. This goes into the pole receptacle to actually give you a M8 thread on both ends so that you can use our rigging. You can see here how that um, easily fits in. One of the um, great little features that we added is what we call a top channel. And this has been very successful. It's very versatile if you're hanging a single box because you can actually choose your angle. Um, so, so this is a great way to be able to do that. Uh, you, you can see here that um, uh, it comes with um, a, quick, a quick release pin. So you can just choose that angle. And then we also have what's called a cluster plate. Now a cluster plate can be added to the top of the loudspeaker and then you can have the channel. Um, but the cluster plate was actually designed so that you can put more than one point source box together. So you can actually mount these um, as, as a couple point source, or you can mount them from the ceiling, or you can mount them uh, vertically, and I'll show you that as well. So here's just how quick and easy it is to change the angles. The cluster plate actually has, has the angles um, holes for you. So you don't, um, you just choose the splay that you want, and then you just screw it on and then you can use the top channel to do a single pickup. So nice and easy, very, very easy um, to use this rigging. Of course, maybe you want to rotate the box and you want to hang it. So um, here's an option where you can actually uh, spin it. You can put the top bracket on and you could hang this off a truss or you could ceiling mount this or um, anything like that. So this is again, just a really, really nice rigging option. Here's a couple of examples. So you can see you can get 10 degrees, 15 degrees or 50 degrees out of this particular um, splay. But we went one step further. Maybe you want to do two boxes. And so what you can do is you can use this particular top channel. Um, and what this does is connects the two boxes together and then you can actually angle those. So this is really good for performing arts centers, uh, schools, uh, churches who may, may not have the money for a line array, but they still want that high quality performance. And to be honest with you, some venues are line array venues. Um, you know, some venues are better suited to point source boxes. You can see here just all the different components that make up um, the M cluster. And then you can see here the splay. So we can go from 26 degrees down to 50 degrees. So, um, and that's all just done with that uh, channel with a very easy to use quick release pins. We also have a yoke. Uh, yokes are very popular. So yokes are great for truss mounting or uh, uh, mounting um, on, on stage or anything that you need. But we've also made this yoke versatile that you can actually spin the yoke and then you can mount that to a pole as well. And that gives you pan and tilt. Um, so again, just really nice e-rigging. One thing I wanted to do was show you um, the, a prediction or show you a, a, a Ultra X40 in action. So here's a 600 seat theatre. We have one Ultra X40, um, one 900, and I have a X20 as front fill. Um, so you can see here that the Ultra X40 is doing a great job at covering this venue, giving you 3 dB variance front to back. Then of course, if I add a front fill, um, this is with no attenuation, just adding a front fill box. And you can see how smooth this is um, with a nice little low end subwoofer bump that most people like uh, low frequencies. 
So together, this is a very simple to use, um, very effective, cost-effective um, loudspeaker system. We also um, are currently running a promotion called, um, called the Power Couple. So you can actually get um, two X40s and two 750s with the poles as a patch. So uh, if you're interested in, in that, um, please see the team at SunInfoNet. Um, we are doing this worldwide and we've had great success with this um, because you know, the Ultra X40s are, and the 750s are so versatile that you could, you know, you could be doing a small uh, gig one day, but then you could be putting them into a theater or you could be putting them together as a center cluster. It really doesn't matter um, with all the rigging options. It makes it very, very flexible. So the next thing I wanted to show you was the Ultra X20. The Ultra X20 is the baby sister. Well, I call it the baby sister. It's the baby sister to the Ultra X40. This is a direct replacement for our UP Junior. Um, our, and as you, as you can see, what we've done here is we've made a, um, a direct, uh, direct replacement. We've actually made it a little bit narrower, um, which is great. And you'll see why we did that with some of the rigging options. Um, it's still around the same weight. Um, and still around the same SBL, but it's an all new digital amplifier, all new drivers. Um, and as you can see here, where we've created three versions. The Ultra X20 is 110 by 50. The Ultra X22 is 80 by 50. And the Ultra X23 is 110 by 110. And they all have rotatable horns, including the 110 by 110. So uh, you can get your trainee or your work experience kids to have a go rotating that. It doesn't really matter. It'll always be 110 by 110. The reason we designed the 110 or the Ultra X23 is for overheads. If you're doing overhead immersive systems, uh, having a nice wide horn in, a, in, a, in an amazingly small um, high powered point source box is, is actually a really um, great thing to have in your inventory. So let's have a look under the hood. Um, the Ultra X20 has a two inch high frequency driver. Um, as you can see, it has two five inch um, low distortion drivers. It has a class, uh, sorry, it has a class D amplifier and built in DSP. So we've again done all of the hard work for you. Uh, it has concentric drivers and of course the rotatable horn, um, as I was saying, and uh, it's just it's just four screws, rotate the horn, nice and easy. We, again, listened to the market. We asked our customers what they wanted and people wanted flexible rigging. So we've created the top channel to fit into the Ultra X20 as well. So you can share the rigging between your different um, uh, products. We've also uh, created a uh, 35, sorry, an M8 pole adapter. So you can screw this onto the bottom and then you can pole mount this very easily as well. And the Ultra X20 uh, works really well with the 750 LFC or our new subwoofer that we just released at IIC, uh, which is called the USW112P, which is a single 12 inch subwoofer. It's a great little system. We of course um, built a, a cradle or a yoke. So this, this yoke um, works in the same way. It's nice and tight, very, very snug. You can rotate it around to then pole mount to give you pan and tilt. We also have a U-bracket. So the U-bracket um, fits on nice and snug and it lets you do um, panning or if you're ceiling mounting, because these are a fantastic under balcony lay or front fill speaker um, if you're doing a performing arts center um, or you can use these as a delay line or as I was saying, a lot of people are using them for their immersive systems. We also have a, um, a, a stub pattern. So as you can see here, we have a stub pattern on the back. And what you can do is if you're using these for surrounds, you can actually use a K&M or, or a standard uh, wall mount and that gives you pan and tilt. And it's a very, very elegant way out these loudspeakers. Uh, the Ultra X20 comes in a 48 volt version. So you can get it as a powered box or sorry, you can get it as a mains power AC, or you can get it in 48 volt. If you're not uh, sure what the 48 volt is, my sound make a complete range of installation speakers and they're actually powered by 48 volts. So what you do is you run a five core, uh, five core cable, uh, two cores is your signal and three cores is power. 
It's a single cable. You run one cable to the back of the loudspeaker and it plugs into our power supplies and the power supply delivers signal and power to the loudspeaker. And this is great if you're doing installations. It also brings your cost of install down because the 48 volt cable um, doesn't need, you don't need to be licensed to run it. You don't have to put it in conduit um, and it's very, very uh, cost effective cable to use. Okay, so let's uh, get into subwoofer. The um, subwoofers, obviously, um, my sound has been doing uh, subwoofer and subwoofer technology for many, many years. And I wanted to talk to you about the 900 LFC. Um, the 900 LFC is a single 18 inch dual coil subwoofer. When I say dual coil, um, the best way to explain it is think about two train engines. You know, if you have one engine, it can pull pretty well. If you have two engines, it can pull a lot more. And that's um, the best way to explain a dual coil subwoofer. Um, it's actually giving you double the energy um, in a very small, tight, compact um, uh, package. It, it has um, two channels. So there's, um, uh, it's a two channel class D amplifier so that we can um, get a lot of energy into that um, subwoofer. Again, it's powered. Um, we also offer um, what we call quick fly rigging. So if you wanted to fly them, um, there's many, many rigging options. We have um, easy to use um, uh, angles. You can get all of your angles for your subwoofers. You can also connect our line arrays. So um, for example, I have many uh, small to medium rental companies who have bought Ultra X40 with some 750s or Ultra X40s with the 900s. And then in the future, when they need to buy uh, a line array as their business bills, it's very easy for them because they already have the subwoofers. So they can easily attach their leaner or their leopard line arrays to their existing inventory. And so the best way to think about that is um, building blocks. You know, it's like having all of these building blocks in your rental inventory or in your, in your venue store, store room. And you go, well, today I'm going to do this event. I need this and I need that, I need that. And so you use your inventory as building blocks. And, and a lot of our customers do that. We also have a smaller subwoofer called the 750 LFC. Um, the 750 LFC is a 15 inch. So single 15, again, dual choice coil. So you're getting a lot of low end frequency, a lot of low end energy. Um, and it is a, a two channel class D amplifier. Also comes with all of the same rigging options um, as the 900. And you can also get the 900 and the 750 without rigging. So if you wanted to save a little bit of money, uh, and you wanted to get it, you can um, order it without rigging. And in the future, again, as your business grows, you can buy the rigging and you can attach that yourself. So we have a procedure on how to undo the sides and attach the rigging if you wanted to add that uh, at some point in the future. One thing that I wanted to talk about is custom color. Um, a lot of people don't know that my sound do custom color loudspeakers. Um, we've been doing custom color loudspeakers for a long time. Um, and as an example, um, I ask or see, I, I'd like you to tell me or see if you can find the speaker in this picture. Um, I'll give you a couple of seconds and then I'll point it out to you. It's right there. This is one of our Cal 64 uh, column, column speakers. And our Cal column speakers are very unique because they are a complete um, uh, a, 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 a complete package. So the Cal uh, column speakers actually come with built-in DSP that you can um, uh, uh, access over the network. And the amazing thing about the Cal's is they're actually beam steerable. So you can actually say, okay, I want my audio to be five degrees, or you can open that up to 30 degrees and you can move the beam in one degree increments up and down. The Cal's are an amazing product. The Cal 32 is a small version is 106 dB at 30 meters. The Cal 64 is 106 dB at 60 meters. And then we do a big version, uh, the Cal 64, uh, sorry, Cal 96 is 106 dB at 90 meters. Um, these are full weatherproof um, uh, loudspeakers um, and they're um, AVB Milan compliant so you can run audio over IP directly to them. The next one is this. Again, I ask you to spot the loudspeaker. Um, if you can't see it, it's there. I will zoom in on that a little bit more. Um, so as you can see, somebody, it wasn't me, but somebody at my sound sat there with a photo and they uh, hand painted 
that particular loudspeaker for this um, cathedral. We also offer our complete product range in a weatherproof version. So here is Hong Kong Disney, and this is a lean line array with a UPQ that is outside in the rain, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's been there for three years. Um, so we do a full weatherproof option. We also do custom color with weatherproof. So here is on the left, again, Hong Kong Disney. This is um, at their Star Wars stage where they've custom colored and it's outside. They build these little uh, kind of rain hoods um, where they have all cable infrastructure sitting above them. And on the right is when I was doing um, Ed Sheeran's concert in Hong Kong, um, Disney as well. Uh, we use that car park for, for the um, area. So uh, that's all that I have in terms of the loudspeakers because I didn't want to just be talking and talking and talking to you. Um, the other things that I just want to quickly touch on is obviously we have a YouTube channel. All of our webinars are on the YouTube channel. So I do encourage you to go and have a look at the different case studies and webinars. Um, the, the recordings are posted. Uh, we have over um, uh, 11,000 um, total webinar views, uh, sorry, 11,000 total web webinar views. And don't forget that my colleague Merlin also does an a la carte uh, menu, which means that if you're on our face, if you're part of our Facebook group, you can actually choose what topic that you would like Merlin to talk about on Fridays um, and he will cover that topic. Um, so that's it from me, but one of the things that um, I'll just make it, I'll just uh, enable so that you guys can unmute yourself um, because I believe that Rohit has um, asked a couple of users or a couple of customers who have Ultra X40s just to um, come online and talk to you about their experience because I think it's really important that you hear from end users and you hear from their experience. So um, I will hand it over to Rohit to um, uh, introduce those people. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for this. Uh, so uh, may I request uh, Darren to actually, uh, so Darren, uh, uh, let me introduce Darren. Darren is uh, placed in Mumbai. Uh, he is, uh, he has also got a studio and he's also got a rental company. Um, he was earlier a Nexo user. Uh, now recently, uh, uh, you know, maybe well, six months or five months back, he just uh, invested into uh, two Ultra X40s with the uh, 750 LFCs. Uh, Darren, can you please take over and, uh, you know, uh, tell us your experiences on, uh, you know, uh, using this Ultra X40 uh, with the uh, 750s and what was the changes? How, why did you choose Ultra X40? Where did you apply them? What, is, what are your feedback? What is your feedback on that? Okay, so let me start with... Uh... Basically, I'm a, a, a sound designer, uh, basically uh, studio engineer. So my, uh, Roy, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, Darren, loud and clear. Okay, okay. So uh, previously, as mentioned, I used to use the, uh, I, I would do my mixes in the studio and use the Nexo as a reference uh, so that I understood that, okay, whatever I mixed is uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, the same thing out when I actually do a live thing of the mix. But I would always have this little issue of, uh, you know, whether uh, my elements were too loud, too soft. Uh, I would never be able to get a proper reference of what was happening. Uh, then in Jan, obviously, I, I, I uh, bought, in the, bought in the system, the Ultra X. And uh, I decided to install it also at my studio, you know, just to check my mixes and stuff like that. And what I found uh, with, with the installation of the Ultra X was that the balance between the low end and the high was excellent. You know, I, I never ever had this problem of uh, whether I'm putting too much of uh, bass into the system or, you know, this is too loud or that's too loud. It was a very... Uh, honest approach to balance, I would say, between the subs, the tops and, and things like that. Uh, a lot of mixes actually, once you play them on the Ultra X, you realize you have made a mess of the mix. You know, it's, it's so true. Uh, and then you start again thing to do things like that. No? Also, presentations on it were excellent. You know, even though in a studio you don't really push too much of levels, uh, the, the speakers were excellent uh, at lower levels as well as when I needed to push uh, you know the the things so I'm very happy with the ultra X uh, even though I was 
basically uh, using them post uh, as a post uh, thing it, it seems to uh, you know reproduce the sound exactly as what you mix in a studio also on my live uh, things i also have a live uh, i mean i run a band basically uh, you know, the, the 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 boxes are so small that you never expect the amount of sound coming out of it and that's that's something what is uh, you know excellent with the setup that i've bought basically and uh, basically extremely happy even though i've not got to use them since this whole covid thing has started but uh, i mean i'm extremely happy with it and uh, you know i think i'll be i'll be continuing to use it more in the in the studio also besides my live experience with them that's great feedback and um you know one of the things that my sound um prides himself on um I, uh, my sound is uh, 41 years old john meyer um, and helen meyer still own the company so it's still privately owned and john meyer has spent 40 years of his life over 40 years of his life really trying to understand the science um, my sounds business name is actually my sound laboratories and john is very much focused on the technology and the science of sound and he he has spent a long time trying to understand phase and trying to understand how to build good quality drivers so my sound actually build all of our own drivers we build them in berkeley california um, we, there, there is no chinese components everything that we build is made in the us by hand and we have a very small tolerance for failure so uh, for example, if a, if a driver fails testing, we just throw it in the bin and we make another one. Um, because as you were just saying, when, you, when, when you're going from the studio to, to, a, to a live event or you're using an Ultra X40 or an Ultra X20 or any of our product range, we've done the hard work and we want the drivers and we want the loudspeakers to be consistent and we want them to be repeatable so that when you do take them out of the studio and you take them to do a live gig, you know what it's gonna sound like and you're, and you're, you're expecting that sound. Um, and that's, that's what we really get from the Ultra X40. It is such a fantastic loudspeaker for the size and it's amazing how much gain before feedback and headroom, um, extra headroom you have in your system um, from just a little loudspeaker. It's, uh, yeah, very impressive. So thank you very much for that feedback. It's um, very nice to meet you. And uh, hopefully one day when I'm in India, I could come and have a look at your studio. That'd be, that'd be very nice. Great. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Darren. Thanks for your, uh, you know, thanks for your words. Uh, and uh, I've got another customer here. Uh, he's actually an engineer. Uh, his name is Atul. Uh, he's based in Delhi. Uh, so these guys have actually picked up uh, Ultra X40 for their uh, worship house. Um, and Atul is the one who runs the system. Uh, hi, Atul. Uh, it would be great if you could actually, I, I know that, uh, you know, you keep uh, working on this. Uh, it would be great if you could yeah, uh, share hi, experiences. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Atul. Please, please take over. Take yeah. Over. yeah, hi. Am I audible, Rohit? Absolutely. Loud, loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, great. So, uh, so the idea going with Myers was very, like, uh, it was a very well searched decision for us to go for Myers. Uh, there were certain other brands we were also, you know, uh, were discussing and just trying to get in touch with what are our requirements. So basically, we design a sound for House of Worship, and the the basic purpose for ours was to deliver a comfortable sound for our audience. Okay, we have a live sound service every time, and whatever we do is is live. It's basically for refuge. So the first thing which was very important and which catched our attraction and our attention towards Ultra X40 was the point source system. We do not want to go for the line arrays uh, because of the complexity of the system and the passive network for them. So the point system, the point source system, the Ultra X40 has given and it has reduced a lot of you know workload from me just to you know simply set up the point at four different points and cover the large area of 100 meters like so i have a 100 by 100 area cover which is acoustically treated and the, the kind of uh, dsp performance with ultra x40 which we have received here is is like unbelievable second important thing which was with ultra x40 was the compact size of these speakers 
लाइक वेन आई हैड अ ट्रायल एंड आई वॉज सरप्राइज रियली दैट ये मतलब दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल स्पीकर कैन डिलीवर दिस अमाउंट ऑफ यू नो साउंड the spl and the power which was the second thing which i wanted to go with and yes ultra x40 again clears that point fourth important the third important thing was i don't want my audience to see my speakers this is what always we wanted so these are so tiny small speakers we hung them at the ceiling and trust me people when they enter to our premises and if it is a live service going on people are like where from where exactly this sound is coming from and when they locate and then they identify okay there is one speaker on live there is one on left and this is how we have actually bifurcated the speakers so this is really amazing and uh, the the it is it is very the low end specifically wherein it's like so i have actually measured the low end and i have really got a very good response even at 60 hertz and it has really gone up to 20k hertz and this is really amazing so and and yes we have a combination of four ultra 40x and uh, x40 and four uh, we have combined them with uh, four lfc 750 as well so this is the combination which we are running and and we are absolutely happy with this also the major point why we chose myers was my idea was to you know create a future proof setup for my church so from next time when i'll do i'll not change from my previous thing and i'll definitely add up to the speakers because this is what myers point source active speakers is actually helping me it is just going to help me to add up more speakers as per my requirement in near future yeah uh, i think i'm done and, that, and that's um you know amazing because um one of the things that that i that i see quite often when i go to visit customers is a lot of people uh talk about line arrays and you know everybody thinks oh i must have a line array i need a line array well some venues or some applications aren't suited for line arrays of course you can use a line array but it it comes with a lot of complexity and um you know sometimes you don't have time to tune systems or sometimes you have multiple uh sound sound technicians and some people like to play with features and change things point source is a great solution point source is simple point source is easy you point it and you 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 know exactly where it's covering you know the ultrax 40 um is a fantastic loudspeaker because it gives you that headroom it gives you the clarity and the power um and you know the great thing is you can rotate those horns so if you want to get it high up into the ceiling um in in landscape mode and then rotate the horn it absolutely gives you that ability um so thank you i you know i really appreciate you sharing your thoughts um especially around um you know the way that your um house of worship or your church is being used it's really um you know exciting for us to hear that and 100 100 meters by 100 meters is a big space that is a very very big space lovely thanks adol thanks uh, so these were the two users uh, yeah. we actually thanks, have sir. another user from uh, uh shillong as well um uh, so uh, you know they even they are using it for their their house of worship um Uh, so yeah, uh, we have got our demo kits in Sun Infinite. We have got we have got our offices in Mumbai, uh, Delhi, Chennai. Uh, so if someone wants to try it out, uh, you know, have some queries, uh, please don't hesitate to get back to us. Uh, we have got uh, right. you know we have got a we have got a big team here in Delhi, Mumbai, uh, Bangalore, and also Chennai. Uh, thank you so um, much, Chris, for the lovely see... thing. Please, please, please. Sorry, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. Um, I. I see um Joseph I think it's uh Joseph has his hand up uh if you would like to unmute and is there a question we we're, we're completely open to if anybody has questions you can chat or you can just jump in if you'd like to jump in Yeah Chris Joseph here from Bangalore Hello. Uh so we have a church you know gathering around 1000 plus 1500 uh, congregation so uh, is this good to go with the uh, uh this uh the speakers yeah so so what we'd like to do um is i'm not sure if you have any any plans for, of the venue um because we do have prediction software that can um come back to you with a design to show you the coverage um because we have we have quite a lot of loudspeakers in our in our product range um and it's always good just to start with the design and then come back and talk to you and your team about the different options that might work in your venue 
okay okay fine so so um yeah uh please reach out to the sun infinite uh, team uh, and we can actually work with you to come up with a design and we can show you the Ultra X40s, um, it, um, actually the predictions to show you the coverage within your venue is probably the easiest way to go about doing that and make sure that you're happy. That's right, sure. Yes, we have we'll got a question that. in the chat. We have got a question in the chat. Uh, you want me to read it out for you? Yes, yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, in India, we really don't uh, we uh, we don't really decide uh, you know where the band setup will be. Uh, you know, do give us some tips and tricks uh, with regards to the speaker placements. Also, time is a major factor. Uh, what is the ideal distance between speaker stacks? Uh, running the system in native mode, that's seven fifties and ultra X forties maximum and minimum. Sure, I didn't get um, that. So, so, so one of the things that my sound has done um, with our with our point source series is we've created what we call uh, native mode. Native mode means that if you are um, uh, um, you're in a, in a in a hurry or if you're in a rush, what you can do is you can put your subwoofer, put a pole, uh, put the point source box, and you can uh, send a single signal. So just left out of your console into your subwoofer and loop to your top box. Um, this also works for our line arrays, uh, the leaner system, uh, line array, and also the leopard system. You can run with one XLR. So you don't need to do anything else, but run the left signal out of the console into the subwoofer, loop it to your top box. The reason we did that is we understand that quite often people are rushed people are busy or the band's late or the rehearsals run over or something's happened. Um, and so uh, we, we've spent a lot of time trying to understand that, um, especially with the, um, the Ultra X40s and the, and the 750s and 900 subwoofers, they're actually very coherent in terms of um, the phase. So we've spent a lot of time doing the tuning to make sure that those boxes work together. And so they're not fighting each other you know, you don't have to do any, any big EQ. You don't have to put a microphone out. You just have to set them up, turn them on and give them signal and they work fantastically. Um, the other thing or the recommendation, um, uh, you know, the ideal distance. So depending on um, the, the version that you have, if you have an Ultra X40, which is 110 by 50, um, what I do and you know, and, 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 and this is true, if I'm busy or I'm rushed, I will actually stand at the stage and I do 90 degrees with my hands and I just do this and I go, okay, well, my first box is gonna cover that, okay? Well, my next box needs to cover that. And then that's really all I do because I know that the speakers are 110 I know that if I need to, if I can cover it with one speaker, great. If I need to bring in another one, I get the cluster plate. I put the cluster plate on and then I actually continue that point source box. So I might have my first one and I've got a little gap. So I just add my next speaker. It's really easy. The point source boxes in the Ultra X40 makes it really, really easy to be able to do this, um, especially if you're, in a, if, if you're in a hurry. And, um, you know, in, in my experience, um, you know, my sound has done a lot of the hard work and we do make it simple. Um, of course, if you wanted to get a processor and you wanted to do all of these things, absolutely you can do that. But if you want a quick, easy, deployable and repeatable system, the Ultra X40 with the 750 subwoofers is very, very versatile, very easy to use. Um, and, and yeah, because you know, you know, you know the pattern or you know the coverage um, what I generally do, as I said, is I just stand at the edge of the stage and I put my hands out and I work out where my 100 degrees is, knowing that I've got 110, 100, 100 degrees. And then I say, okay, I'm going to cover that or I need another box. It's really easy, really, really simple. Um, so I, I hope that's answered your question. Um, please feel free to uh, ask, ask more. Uh, is there any questions about anything that I touched on? Please, uh, yeah, feel free to use the chat or un you can unmute your mic uh, and ask any question. I'm here to answer them all.
Great. Well, um, Sun InfoNet has demo stock. Um, so, so please reach out to them if you would like to try the Ultra X40 um, or the 750. So um, they are our distributor in, in, in India and the team is very experienced. Um, we are happy to do designs. So one of the things that I always like to do is we start with a system design. Um, the great thing about a system design is we can, again, we can visualize what the loudspeakers are gonna do. Um, and, it's, and it's just a good way for us to um, talk to you, the customer, about your expectations and about um, what you're trying to achieve so that we can make sure that we can actually do that um, for you. Uh, as I was saying, we do a lot of different product ranges. So my sound do uh, large Turing systems. Uh, we do small line arrays, which is our leaner system. Uh, Leopard is our uh, next size up. We do um, uh, a, a bigger point source box called the UPQ, which is a 15 in horn if you need something bigger. Then we have the Ultra X40, Ultra X20, and then we come down to our UP4 Slim. Um, a UP4 Slim, if you haven't heard those, I suggest reach out to Sun InfoNet. They are a stunning little loudspeaker. In fact, it's my, it's my personal favorite out of all the ones that we do. It's a little tiny, uh, uh, it's a dual four inch in horn, amazing loudspeaker. Um, so reach out and have a listen to those. And we also do a little single four inch um, loudspeaker, which is a stunning little uh, loudspeaker called the MM4. Uh, we also have a uh, question, Chris. Uh, uh, what is the maximum height that an Ultra X40 can be placed above the 750s uh, if you're running them in native mode? I mean, yeah, if you're not uh, using so, pole or something like that. So. Yes, so um, depending on how you're doing it, um, we have some customers who do two 750s and then the X40 sitting on top. So that, that, that gives you a little bit of height. Um, or if you're using a pole, um, it's really limited to, to the pole. So I think that our poles that we sell do 1.8 meters, I think. Um, so normally what I try to do, uh, let me just show you. Normally what I try to do, uh, let me just share my screen here. Uh, so, um, Point source boxes are a really interesting uh, uh, box. As you see in this, um, in this particular prediction, oops, um, what I'm doing is my center line is, I've, I've actually got it angled down a little bit. So I'm angling down because I wanna get the lobe to actually cover as many seats as I can. And point source boxes are really interesting because they're kind of like an egg. Like, um, you know, you can see here that the, that the coverage pattern is kind of like an egg shape. And so when you're, when you're putting them on top of subwoofers, um, I always try to go uh, the, the horn, I always try to put the top of the top box just above where people's heads are gonna be, because I know that the point source box is gonna do this egg shape. And so that's, that's just, again, something as you start to use them and as you use the prediction software, you, you kind of remember what the, what the actual uh, pattern looks like. Um, so, so I always try to be, if people are sitting, um, you know, I always keep in mind that um, I don't want it too high so that I can get them in the lobe. If it's people are going to be standing, I'll, I'll just raise, raise the pole a little bit higher. Um, so it's very, very easy to do. And of course, the prediction software helps with that as well. It's very easy to put loudspeakers in the prediction software and uh, use it. Yeah, I think we're done with the questions. Ah, yeah. If... Uh, sorry, I just for another question. Um, we are going to do a future web, uh, sorry, an upcoming webinar. We just, we just haven't chosen the date yet, um, but we're going to do another webinar that's um, based on our installation products. And we're going to be talking about some of the projects we've done globally. So um, a lot of people don't know that My Sound is currently um, redesigning all of the Apple stores globally. So all of the Apple stores will have My Sound systems going into them. Um, we have a team working on that. Uh, we work with Facebook, Google. Um, we're doing um, uh, all of, Do we work very closely with Dolby. We do their, um, their screening rooms and we've done a lot of their post-production facilities. Um, we have a lot of um, cinema products. We've been in the cinema um, and post-production, mostly post-production for a very, very long time. 
And so we were going to do another webinar just talking about different projects that Maya Sound's done um, because a lot of people aren't aware of the, the different vertical markets that we actually cover. Um, yeah, so there will be upcoming training. So we will definitely um, email everybody. Um, I've also recorded this session, so I'm happy to send uh, a link to the team at Sun InfoNet if anybody would like to watch this again. Um, I'm very happy to do another webinar on any topic that you would like. So for example, um, you might like to know more about our installation, uh, our 48 volt technology. I'm happy to do a webinar on that. Um, we have our new 3D prediction software um, just about to be released called Map3D, where you can actually put your Google SketchUp or your 3D model into our prediction software and do uh, uh, loudspeaker predictions in 3D. So I'm happy to do a webinar on that. Um, yeah, anything. Uh, I, yeah, Chris, I kind of, uh, uh, Chris, I would yeah. like to request one thing. Can you have a webinar on uh, alignment, speaker alignments? Sure. Yeah. So that are you thinking? Really um, yeah, sure. So, so we've, we've done in the past, um, uh, we have Bob McCarthy and uh, another gentleman called Magoo. Um, and we now have Merlin who do uh, speaker um, design and alignment. So uh, yeah, be happy to do a webinar on that. Those courses tend to go for two, two days. Um, so what we might do is we could try and do maybe one and a half hour, uh, you know, and try and spread it out. Um, but yeah, we can definitely look at doing something like that for you. Sure, thank you. Um, before everybody goes, I just want to say again, thank you very much. Uh, I think we have 50 people on, on, on the call. I'm sorry about uh, my audio at the beginning. I'm sorry about the, uh, the kind of false start. Um, but yeah, it's great to meet you all. I'm very excited to be working with the team at SunInfoNet. Um, we have some great projects coming up and we, we're very excited to actually be meeting, oh, sorry, I'm excited to be meeting some of the customers. Um, if there's any questions, please, uh, I'm, I'm happy for you guys to email me directly. Um, if there's anything you'd like to talk about, any uh, information that you need, you can grab my email address from the Sun InfoNet team. So I hope that you all have a good weekend. Um, if there's no more questions, uh, I'm happy to adjourn the meeting. Um, is there anything else? I'm, I'm happy to stay here and answer questions if there's anything. Great. Okay. Well, uh, let's call it adjourned and hopefully you can all join us again when we do our next webinar. Um, again, we, we, we just haven't chosen a date for that, but we'd like to do it in the next uh, maybe uh, two weeks from now or, or one week from now, um, depending on everybody's schedule. So thank you very much. And I hope you all have a good weekend. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Thanks guys. See you, see you, see you all. Bye-bye.